fire. We appreciate the wood delivery. And ice. It's one of the few reasons to be out in the cold. You ain't scoring no goals on me today. Oh, yeah. Pond hockey. A New England winter tradition. And on Lake Garda in Burlington. Good turnouts are always good. It shines when the sun goes down. We were hoping that rainstorm flooded it mint for us. Hockey night in the cove. It's basic floodlighting. Attack, attack, attack. Mounted on a couple of trees, but good enough to keep the game going. Bright enough to see what you're shooting at. Closes the door. Night's the best. It gets colder, but it just it sounds great. Oh, got dangled. The ice is harder. It's a perfect time to play. The turnout fluctuates. Most times it's five on five. There it is. But word is spreading. This year is actually the first year with two goalies. And that's just icing on the cake. Oh, snipe. All are welcome in this arena, all ages, all skills, guys and girls. Ah, oh, it's just great to see the community come out. You know, it's great to have everybody here having a good time. So you're probably wondering at this point, what's that glow in the dark thing flying around the ice? Of course it's a puck, but not just any puck, it's a comet puck. And it was invented right here. Same size, weight, and hardness as a regulation puck. Just a much brighter idea. It's equipped with two LED lights, and it takes a lithium 3-volt battery. That puts a charge in the Comet Puck for about 12 hours of playtime, according to its inventor, Bill Lears. It comes in three colors. There's blue, green, and super bright red. Much better than black at night. I can see them better. I don't get smoked in the side of the face with them. You can't miss it, even when shots go wide. The Comet Puck shooting across the night sky. Well, now we don't lose pucks. It's awesome. And then you don't see a guy, but then you just see the puck start moving and flying back, and then it's coming back at you at Mach 1. Warning, the Comet Puck may cause flashbacks to how the game used to be played. Solani in again. Big shot, he scores! Fox Tracks had a brief pro career in the 90s, although nicknamed the Glow Puck or Laser Puck. With a tail like that, why not a Comet Puck? Today, there's something good in joining the dark side of hockey. Comet Puck is the best thing ever. Perhaps, but it's not sold in stores in Connecticut. Ah! Now, Lear sells the Comet Puck from home. More than 1,200 sold worldwide since December. I've got them in Finland, and I have a couple retailers in Minnesota and in Canada. It really highlights the night hockey experience. Outside. Oh! In the cove. And under the lights. Go, Dan, go! Break away! Ice time doesn't expire here. The skaters do. <laughs> After the last period... Some overtime. Another invention. A little homemade Zamboni. Not his own. I found it online. But still a pretty cool or really cold way for a clean sheet of ice. And it makes it like glass. In Burlington. It is what makes Connecticut great in the winter. John Charlton, Fox, Connecticut. I'm ready for a beer.